Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back to the channel. So I recently did a vegan fridge tour and I had asked you guys if you'd be also interested in seeing what is in our pantry and there was a resounding yes. So today that's what we're gonna do and while we don't exactly have a pantry per se, I'm gonna show you where we keep all of our bulk dry goods. All right you guys, so here it is in all its glory. So we're gonna start down on the bottom drawer and work our way up. So this bottom drawer is where we keep all of our supplements and our superfoods. So any type of powder or super seed that we might add into a smoothie or nice an cream, and then daily supplements that we use to fill in any gaps nutritionally and for Max as well. So these are the supplements that we grab and use daily. This is a vitamin D3 from Mary Ruth's that we give to Max, just three sprays of that. This B12 we take daily and give him just a teeny tiny drop and we take that every day as well. And then this is the new vitamin D3 we've been trying just to kind of change it up. And it's also summertime so we don't have to use a whole lot of it, but we're really liking that right now. And then these are Dusty and I's multivitamins. I'm still breastfeeding at 18 months. Max is a year and a half old. So I'm still taking just one of these prenatal, prenatal multis every day. I love, love it. And Dusty has the men's multi. Some of our favorites here, Dusty loves ashwagandha. This is an adaptogen that he adds into his protein shakes. We've got some dried dragon fruit powder. That makes your smoothie bowls extremely pretty and pink. If you want something that's gonna go a little bit further than that frozen variety, cacao powder. This is a favorite of ours. We'll add that to make chocolate and ice cream. Coconut flakes to top our smoothie bowls with or to bake with. Turmeric, this is one of the best anti-inflammatory powders to add to your smoothies. You can also make turmeric lattes with it. Blueberry powder, extremely, extremely high in antioxidants. Matcha, so I have this organic green tea matcha powder that I sometimes like to drink if I want a little jolt of energy. I'm not a coffee drinker, neither is Dusty. He doesn't do any caffeine. Chia seeds, so this is probably the most used bag in this whole pantry, so that's why we have a giant bag of it. We always add this to smoothies, we make chia puddings. We're always grinding it and sprinkling it on Max's meals. Maca powder. So this is something we phase in and out of our smoothies. This one is a great adaptogen for hormonal balance as well as energy and sleep. Really love the taste and smell of it as well, particularly this Kiva brand. We've got it on our Amazon store. Camu Camu, extremely high in vitamin C. Yeah, 760% vitamin C in just one teaspoon. So if you're feeling like you need a little boost during cold and flu season, that's a great one. Acai, everybody knows acai powder. This is one of the highest sources of antioxidants of any berry on the planet. Also has healthy omega-3s in it, which is kind of interesting. Vanilla bean powder, so this is typically what I use to bake with or blend with in place of vanilla extract. It's a lot more whole and pure. It's just straight from the vanilla bean. And this will be our other most used, other than the chia seeds, is Daily Green Boost. I put a tablespoon of that in our smoothies every morning. And it has a ridiculous amount of vitamins and minerals, especially folate, vitamin K, 410%. It's got lots of iron, manganese, and all kinds of other good stuff. So super high in minerals, very alkalizing, and anti-inflammatory. So if you're interested in trying out Daily Green Boost, which is just a barley grass juice powder, you can use Eat Move Rest and get a discount. And for everything else, honestly, we buy mostly on Amazon Prime, so we will have it linked below in the description on our Amazon store. Moving on to the second drawer, this is the bulk of our pantry, pun intended. So this is where we keep all of our bulk purchases. We keep them all in these mason jars because it's just a lot easier and cleaner for us. Well, that being said, with COVID-19, the bulk bins have been wiped clean. I think they're trying to prevent the spread of germs, so it's been really difficult to find bulk things, so we've had to buy more plastics. 
And again, like I said in the refrigerator tour, we have a lot of plastics, but we're doing our best. We use our reusable bags whenever we're able to, but things are a little bit bumpy right now, so go easy on us. <laughs> so you can see that I got to use my handy dandy label maker here. So I'll walk you through some of our top used grains and legumes and beans. Over here on the far side, we have split red lentils. So these are definitely our most used. They're super high in protein and super high in iron. Um, they're really great for thickening up curries and soups and stews. Quinoa is actually not a grain, it's a seed and it is a complete protein. We use that one a ton. It's very versatile. Brown rice, use that a lot as well. Steel cut oats, I love to use to grind up into oat flour for baking. These are not white rice, this is green lentils. Those are great for making like a mock meat, kind of like taco meat dish or a lentil bolognese. We've got oat groats, these are one step above steel cut oats. So again, usually all I use those for is blending into flour. We've got red kidney beans, those are great for chilies. More lentils, more lentils. And these, usually I have garbanzo beans dried in here, but right now I actually have buckwheat. This is another seed that is a complete protein like quinoa. And usually what I like to do is soak and sprout it and then I'll dehydrate it so it's kind of like a crispy, crunchy um, smoothie bowl topper. It's really, really good. Here we've got our canned beans. This is kind of just as a backup for those lazy days when cooking from dry isn't really an option. So we've got black beans, cannellini beans, beans, canned pumpkin, I like to make things for Max with that and bake with it. We've got coconut cream, so fun fact, instead of buying light coconut milk or even just regular coconut milk, buy coconut cream and dilute it with water yourself. It's the same exact thing, this is just more bang for your buck. We've got this red curry paste, this is something we always put in like our red lentil, sweet potato, veggie stews, it's kind of like a Thai and or Indian flavor strained tomatoes. So we even buy this in a glass bottle instead of a jar. This is what we use to make everything from pizza sauce to pasta sauce to thickening up our stews. You'll also see it sometimes in different varieties labeled as tomato puree. So the reason we like this is because it has one ingredient, organic strained tomatoes. A lot of canned and jarred sauces are gonna be high in sugar and salt and fat. So instead we just use this and we just season it ourselves. We've got a couple of dried bean medleys from Bob's Red Mill over here that we honestly like never use, but they're great in the winter time. Amaranth, so this is yet another complete protein. It's a seed, even smaller than quinoa, and this one is by far the highest in iron. So this is what we've been enjoying making for Max and a lot of his little recipes to get extra iron in his diet. And then we also found an amaranth flour. So this has been great to add into waffle and pancake recipes, even putting a tablespoon into a shake for extra protein and iron. In the far back here, this is the fun stuff. So saltines are basically for when we're feeling under the weather. There are days where I've been sick and all I could stomach was crackers. <laughs> and then we've got some different pastas. Our favorite is bonza. This is all chickpea pasta and again, super high in protein and iron. Max loves them. And they just came out with a plant-based mac and cheese. It is awesome you guys so check it out and a gluten-free brown rice pasta we do try to stay gluten-free as much as possible personal favorite is this millet and brown rice ramen so it's not flavored or anything you add your own seasoning but it is so so good and then in the back we have these for homemade sushi over here on the door every once in a while I'll find a really cool kind of like infographic thing to print out and this one is the PB3 plate from Plant Based Juniors. So, Plant Based Juniors and Nutritious Vita are my go to resources for evidence based toddler and infant nutrition. So, these are just helpful reminders for us as we're preparing Max's daily meals to make sure that we're meeting his vegan, plant powered nutritional needs. Third drawer up. So, this is Dusty's favorite. Uh. <laughs> this, this is our nuts, nut butters, and kind of our snack drawer. So, we have a lot of dried fruits on this shelf. Again, a lot of these things go on top of smoothie bowls or we're just grabbing and munching after meals. 
and they're all super nutritious. So this is considered nature's candy. Front and center is my personal favorite. We've got medjool dates. They are super juicy and delicious right now. So I love to just pit these and pop them in the freezer. For some reason, they taste so much better that way. And I also bake with them, so I'll puree them into date paste. Right behind there is Dusty and I's other favorite snack. So these are the Baruka nuts. We've got the trail mix, which is so good because it has this sweet, crunchy fruit in with the nut. And it's like a hard, crunchy shell, um, but they're so good. You've just got to trust me on that. And then just the plain Baruka is really amazing as well. Dusty's go-to after dinner snack is these dark chocolate chips. Over here, we've got some unsweetened and no salt added almond butter. So just one ingredient. That's what you always wanna look for with your nut and seed butters. No added oil, salt, or sugar. We've got peanut butter. Our new favorite and Max's favorite is this raw cashew butter. It's the highest source of iron of any of these nut butters. So organic coconut butter, this is what we recommend using to flavor up your soups and stews instead of coconut oil for extra fat if that's what you're wanting because this is just 100% whole coconut. So it doesn't have the fat extracted, it's the whole coconut. And it's got a little bit of a sweet taste and we really like to add that to bulk up Max's recipes. Right up front, probably our most used nut is cashews, just simply because we love to soak them and blend them into like a cashew cream or cashew cheese sauce. Behind that we have rolled oats. So this is something I use again for baked goods. I make a ton of oat flour. That's basically my go-to for all of my baked goods. We also make oatmeal pretty much every other day. Dusty and Max both enjoy it. So funny story, I ordered some holy basil on Amazon because after our Costa Rica retreat, we learned so much about holy basil being like the top of the top as far as adaptogenic superfoods. It's just great for everything. It heals everything, literally. So I went on Amazon and ordered some holy basil tea and it showed up in a two pound bag. <laughs> so we've been keeping it in this giant jar. We've also got almonds and all kinds of seeds. We've got sunflower seeds, pecans, pistachios, walnuts, and even some organic Nebraska grown popcorn. Some of both of our favorite smoothie bowl toppers are cacao nibs. These are fantastic, so high in antioxidants. White mulberries and goji berries are Dusty's favorite. Typically, dried fruit is also gonna be really high in iron. I know I'm talking a lot about iron, but it's a nutrient of extreme importance when you have infants and toddlers running around. So we've been really focusing on that. And these are my new favorite go-to crunchy munchy for the top of my smoothie bowls. They're just freeze-dried organic strawberries. They're so, so good. <laughs> Last but not least, the top shelf is pretty much devoted to all kinds of baking flours and powders and potions. But over here on the far side is one of our favorite snack crackers. Mary's Gone Crackers, these are organic. They are full of just a whole bunch of different seeds. They're even oil-free and Max loves them too. We are oil-free, but we keep olive oil on hand just to, again, add extra calories, healthy fats to Max's meals. It is totally fine for toddlers and babies to consume a little bit of oil. And then we've got some brewer's yeast. So this is something that I've experimented with, with baking and even blending into smoothies. It's supposed to be a galactagog. In other words, it's supposed to help increase your milk supply. So if you're breastfeeding, you might wanna look into brewer's yeast. So other than B12 and D3, another nutrient of concern, especially for vegans and vegetarians, is iodine. So we get our iodine from sea vegetables. This is the kind you wanna go for, is USDA organic. It's from the main coast, so this is dulse flakes. It looks like fish food, to be honest, but you can sprinkle it on salads. You can even put it in soups. And this kelp is actually in like extremely large seaweed pieces. It's super salty. So if you have a salt craving, it's good to munch on this. Best way to make sure that you don't overdose on iodine would be to actually drop some of this into a boiling water of soup. Last thing over here in the corner is our go-to cereal. So this is by Nature's Path Organic. It's called Mesa Sunrise. This is completely gluten-free, USDA organic, and Honestly, Dusty has a bowl of this almost every night, late night before bed, it's hilarious. And Max has kind of entered the picky toddler stage, so if there's ever a time where he won't eat his food and I'm starting to get nervous, like, hey, you need to eat, buddy, then 
I usually can get his appetite revved up if I give him some of this cereal. And back here, I'm not gonna go into too much detail because I rarely use this, but we've got some different balsamic vinegars and flavorings like that, and then some baking soda, cornstarch, and different flours. Um, coconut flour, brown rice flour, arrowroot powder, buckwheat flour, and coconut sugar, which we very rarely use. And that pretty much sums it up. So right now I'm actually soaking some dried chickpeas that we're gonna pop in our Instant Pot and use in some way, shape, or form for dinner. Most likely we'll make some chickpea patties. So over here in this corner of the kitchen is where we keep more dry goods. This is pretty much just protein powders. You guys know Sun Warrior is our go-to. If you guys haven't already, we definitely highly recommend checking out the Warrior Blend. So we love the natural, vanilla, and the chocolate and they're super, super high in iron, again, and you can get 20% off. We will link it below. Use our discount code EATMOVEREST and give it a go. Then down here is the mother load. So this is where we keep our potatoes and our sweet potatoes, onions, and garlic. We bought some of these tin cans and it works out great for keeping all of these puppies in place. My personal favorite, this red colored, it's kind of a reddish sweet potato. It's called a Japanese yam. It's white inside and they taste like birthday cake. No joke. Last but not least, this is our spice cupboard. And I would say this is where the gold mine is. If you're looking to transition to a plant-based or vegan diet, the best way to enjoy your meals is to flavor them. So, of course, salt and pepper is always good, but there are so many other options out there. If you kind of get into ethnic cuisine, like we love to make a lot of Thai foods and Indian foods, you really have to build up your spice cabinet. Some of our favorites are curry powder, garlic powder, cayenne, um, cumin and for something sweeter I really like to use pumpkin pie spice and cinnamon so because we buy in bulk and we don't have a whole lot of space in our kitchen we do store excess and extra down in the basement especially with quarantine we're trying to make as few trips as possible to the grocery stores so we do have a lot of overflow down in the basement. All right, you guys, I'm about to make some overnight oats. I hope you enjoyed the pantry tour. If you haven't already checked out the fridge tour, I will link that below. And make sure that you subscribe to our channel by hitting that subscribe button and clicking that bell to turn on notifications. That way you'll get alerts whenever we put out brand new content on our channel. Leave me some love in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with someone who might be inspired or encouraged by it. Until next time, Keep the rest your best. Bye guys. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzics. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.